How's it going guys? It's Kyle the How To Guy 123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make custom rain meter honeycombs. So this tutorial is great if the honeycomb skin doesn't come with a program you want to have displayed on your desktop or you just want to change the icon of a pre-existing honeycomb. So the first thing you're going to need to do of course is have the honeycomb skin installed for rain meter and if you don't have it already I'll leave a link to download it in the description below. But once you have the skin properly installed with rain meter just go ahead and minimize or exit out of the rain meter manager and we're going to want to come down here to our file explorer now head into your documents and then click on the rain meter folder and then skins and this is the default location where all your rain meter skins are installed to and you're going to want to look for the honeycomb folder and once you're in the honeycomb folder you'll see a whole bunch of folders here and each one of these folders is for the uh, pre-existing icons or honeycombs that come with the skin and you're going to want to scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see a file here called template.psd here i'll actually make the uh, icons a little bit bigger or easier to see so yeah you'll see uh, template.psd here and this is a photoshop file here that comes with the skin here to create custom honeycombs and if you don't have photoshop installed to uh, open and edit this psd file there are a whole bunch of free programs you can download to edit uh, psd files for example, GIMP, Paint.net, and uh, PhotoP and Pixlr, which uh, those two are actually online tools or online photo editors. And all these programs can open up uh, PSD files. So I'll leave a link for all those in the description below. And one more thing is if you just want to use another photo editor that doesn't open up PSD files at all, you can come into the at resources uh, folder here and then click on images. And this is the location for all the pre-existing honeycombs that come with the skin. So these are all PNG files and you can pretty much just open uh, one of these up and edit it from there. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the template.psd with Photoshop. And once the PSD file is opened up in Photoshop, it's going to look something like this. Like I said, this is just a blank honeycomb and you can pretty much edit it to however you would like it. Over here on the layers panel, there's three layers. The first one is the hex layer and this is pretty much the main hexagon of your, of your icon here. So if I just hide it, it's just the, the hexagon. The bottom layer here is called shadow, and this is just the bottom lip or shadow of your icon. And soft light here is basically just a shadow effect for the bottom lip here. So the program I'm going to be making an icon for is the dolphin emulator. So what I'm going to do here is start off by editing the layer style for the hexagon. And I'm just going to change this to a light blue or maybe like a teal, teal color. All right, that looks good. And then I'm just going to click on OK. I'm going to make the bottom lip or the shadow just white and then I'm going to import the dolphin emulator logo. I'm going to change the layer so it's on top and I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. And finally, I'm just going to change the layer style of the logo so that it's a plain white and I'm going to give it an inner shadow and I'm just going to up the opacity of that and the distance a bit. All right, so that looks good. So I'll click on OK. So once you have your honeycomb done and the way you want it, come up here to file and then click on save as. Make sure you don't click save, save as, and then save it to your computer. And you're going to want to save it to the at resources folder I showed you guys earlier. And then in images, so just a reminder of the file path, it's in your documents, rain meter, skins, honeycomb, at resources, images, and you're going to want to change the save as type to PNG. And you're going to want to give it a name, so it's best just to name it the name of the program. So we'll call it Dolphin. So Dolphin.png. Uh, then click on Save. Click on OK. And we've just successfully saved our new honeycomb icon. So now we can exit out of Photoshop. And now we're going to want to head back into our honeycomb folder. And you're going to want to choose a folder here. It can be pretty much any other folder. Uh, I'll just choose Chrome for this example. So I'm just going to right click on the Chrome folder and then click on copy and you're going to want to paste the new folder. So I'm just going to create a duplicate of the Chrome folder here. You're going to want to right click on the new folder we created and call it the name of your program. So I'll call it Dolphin. And once you've done that, go ahead and double click on your new folder and you'll see a .ini folder here or a .ini file. Go ahead and right click on it and then once again you're going to, want, going to want to call this your program so i'll call it dolphin so dolphin.ini 
Now we're going to want to open this file in Notepad. So right click on it and open with and Notepad. You can actually use any text editor. So if you want to, you can choose a Notepad++. But in this case, I'll just choose Notepad. And once the file is opened up in Notepad, I'll just make it a little bit bigger here. You'll see a Chrome tag here, all in caps. So I'm just going to want you, you're going to want to change this to your program name. So I'll call it Dolphin, all in caps. Under image name, you're going to want to change chrome.png here to the icon image we just uh, created. So in my case, it was dolphin.png. And finally, under left mouse up action, you're going to want to find the file path of your program. So in my case, uh, for Dolphin, the Dolphin emulator, it's saved by default in my C drive, program files, and then we're going to want to look for Dolphin. And you'll see dolphin.exe here. So if I double click on this, this is going to open the Dolphin emulator. So we're going to want to find the file path of the exe file here. So I'm going to right click on it, go to properties and then location. So this is the location of the exe file. So I'm going to right click on it and copy it or highlight and copy it. Click on OK. And then we're going to want to paste this file path into the INI file here. So this is just the 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 uh, folder where the exe file is located, but we're going to want to create, we're going to want to add a backspace and write dolphin.exe. So this is just the folder the exe file is located in, and then we're just going to want to specify the exe file we want to open. So for example, dolphin.exe. Uh, I hope that made sense there. It could be a little bit complicated. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention is if you're creating an icon for a Steam game, you're going to want to actually open up Steam and uh, choose your game. So for this example, I'll just choose the Master Chief Collection and then right click on it and then choose Manage, Add Desktop Shortcut. And that's just going to create a temporary shortcut on our desktop. You're going to want to right click on it, click on Properties. Where it says URL, you're just going to want to copy this and close out of the properties. You can delete the icon if you want. And you're going to want to paste that URL uh, where the file path is. So that's just if you're going to be creating an icon for a Steam game. That's how you would uh, go about that. But I'm just going to change my back to the dolphin.exe file path. And then one final thing I like to do is just change the metadata. This really doesn't matter too much, but I'm just going to change the name to dolphin. And under author, I'll just call it Kyle. And once you've done all that, just come up here to file and then save. You can exit out of Notepad and we can exit out of our file explorer. Finally, we're going to want to come back into rain meter and you're going to want to click on refresh all and go ahead and open up honeycomb and then find your programs folder. So in my case, dolphin and then just expand it and you'll see dolphin.ini here. Go ahead and double click on it. And then you can see my dolphin honeycomb has appeared on my desktop. You can go ahead and configure it the way you want it to, but I'll just close out a rain meter for now and you can position it on your desktop to wherever you want it. So finally, let's go ahead and open it to see if it works. And there we go. We've successfully created a custom honeycomb icon for the dolphin emulator. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. Also, if you guys would like to suggest any Rain Meter tutorials, I'd be happy to do those. So uh, leave your Rain Meter suggestions in the comment section below as well. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.